the way I did it on the stage was different from the guy that I, you know, did on the screen. Obviously, you know, you have a different director, you have different castmates. You know, your vibe with your castmates, right? The, 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 the lines were different in the film, right? Usnavi, even it was funny, like I talked to Chris Scott, our choreographer, and I said, you know, Usnavi doesn't typically dance. And he said, Usnavi in our, in our movie is gonna dance. Hey guys, it's Max. I hope you guys are really good. Okay, you like dancing, you like singing, you like salsa, you like hip hop, and what about Anthony Ramos? If it's a yes, 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 <laughs> you are gonna love In The Heights. Take a look. Once upon a time, in a far away land called Washington Heights. Say it, so it doesn't disappear. Washington Heights. Guys, it's been over a decade since the hit musical landed on Broadway and people fell in love with it. In the Heights celebrates Latin culture in every way. The people, um, the food, the culture, and especially the music. Incorporating salsa, hip hop, dance, performance with a message of acceptance and hope. Story of a block that was disappearing. The genius is back! Yo, here's your chance, ask her out right now. Hey! There's something on your shirt. Operate on them. That man that we all love, Lynn Manuel Miranda, has been responsible for In the Heights. And what's really interesting is he wrote the Broadway show before he did Hamilton, which obviously everyone knows him for. Lynn was this like up and coming um, sort of screenwriter, actor, performer who was obsessed with like his own culture, being Latin, but also loving hip hop. And he just could not find a place where he where he saw himself and where he felt like he could get a job and be a part of this industry. So as most great creative people do, when you don't see a place for yourself, you create one. So he wrote In The Heights and look what happened. Home is one of the guiding themes of our story. This is where you turn to when you need to feel grounded once again. Today's all we got, so we cannot stop. This is our block. In the Heights stars Anthony Ramos, who I'm a huge fan of. Guys, he's a triple threat. The dude can sing, he can rap, um, I was gonna say rap, but no, he can dance. <laughs> he might be able to rap. He can dance, he can sing, and he can also act. He has just wrapped um, Transformers, the brand new movie. He's the star of that film, so big things um, on the way for him. Also huge in Hamilton, Broadway. He's done so much amazing things. So to see him in the Heights, um, obviously he's at home. You know he's gonna kill it. You know he's gonna do a great job. But he absolutely delivers, and I think he's definitely someone to keep an eye on. Lights up on Washington Heights, up at the break of day. I wake up and I got this little punk I gotta chase away. Pop the grape at the crack of dawn, sing while I wipe down the awning. Hey, y'all, uh, good morning. It was dope. It was amazing filming up there because that was like, that's where the stories, the stories about Washington Heights. So the fact that we were there, shooting there, and you can't make it up, right? The, the 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 music coming from people's windows, right? The the fire hydrants open for real. Kids splashing cars on when they driving through the block, you know, like people riding motorcycles through the shop. You know, that's what you want. You want that's the pulse, the pulse of the neighborhood. You hearing the sounds of the traffic and 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 horns beeping. Like you can't make that up. You can try, but but th there's you know, there's nothing like being in the mix and being in the place that you're telling the story about. Now, Anthony is not only an actor, a performer on Broadway, he absolutely loves music and he has recently recorded a brand new album. I think, actually, it's fair to say music is his first passion. And a friend of mine, Jessica Agambar, who's super talented, she's written hits for the likes of BTS, Jonas Brothers, um, you're going to get a full chat with me and Jess in the next few weeks or so. She's a podcast guest for season three. She's actually been in the studio with Anthony and she has helped him write two songs for his new album. So I, of course, asked Jess, like, what can we expect? What's this music going to sound like? All the guy sings, he dances, it looks awesome. He's just got really good energy. I like his vibe. Um, it feels like music is really important to him. Being in the studio with him, what, what was Anthony like to vibe with, to work with? So our stuff was, because um, he's got such a big vocal, yeah. we didn't want to be like, do you know what, let's do this cool um, down tempo R&B vibe, which he definitely could do. Yeah. We was like, you've got like a powerhouse vocal, you want to perform, you want to do it with a big band. Mm -hmm. So 
it's more I would almost say like uh, it's like old school MJ mixed with Phil Collins like oh. um shoes yeah yeah okay so I'm super excited Jessica is super talented so I know it's not going to be crap I know it's going to be good so um he's put out some music already for more I'll leave details in the show notes so you guys can check out some of his music right it's not just about Anthony Ramos though the whole cast are brilliant that are in it with him I have to shout out Leslie Grace I love you I love you I love you I just think you are wonderful to watch such a performer also a musician too um these people are so multi-talented Melissa Barrero great to watch you in this as well you said you wanted to see the world through my eyes right this film resonates it's us all of us we made something really original and really energized and full of love the stories are 100 universal it's about the indomitability of our spirit little details tell the world we are not invisible it's time for a movie to remind us of the beautiful things that happen when you care for the person next to you it's just so important for every community to feel seen. We are not powerless. What? We are powerful. So, imagine it's a hit Broadway show. So how does it become a film? Well, this surprised me. Lin-Manuel Miranda did not think it was going to ever be a big budget film. He always thought it's quite um, a passion project for him. And maybe mainstream studios won't see the potential. So he was quite content with making an independent film at some point when everything aligned. But John Chu had other ideas. Sueñito means little dream. Just the way that I grew up as a child with my family having these giant dreams, I knew that we could build this magical world. Everyone feels like this story is theirs. Everyone sees something of their family in it. Look who's home! And so it's very nerve-wracking to go to the creator of In the Heights and pitch a new version for the movie. Every dance number has a different style because everyone's dreams are different. They come from different places. Sometimes films like this that are incredibly wonderful don't get marketed and pushed on all of us at the same time while things like Loki do. And don't get me wrong, my Loki review is coming and I'm a huge fan of Tom Hiddleston, Owen Wilson and Marvel. But I think it's incredibly important for us to get behind films like In the Heights and not like forget that they're there as well because the more we support films that are made by people like John, people like Lin-Manuel, starring people like Anthony Ramos, Leslie Grace, it means those films, those actors, those creatives get more opportunity. So there's enough time to go around that we can support a low key and we can, which is on Disney Plus, by the way. And you can also support In the Heights, which will be at cinema and um, cinemas all across the UK and on streaming platforms. We all had a sueñito. And when it came to dreams, we had to keep scraping by. Maybe this neighborhood is changing forever. Maybe tonight is our last night together, however. I just want to see the whole world through our eyes. They're talking about kicking out all the dreamers. In the Heights is a spectacular movie celebrating Latin culture in every form. Dancing, singing, music, the people, and a bit of hip-hop thrown in as well. Today's all we got, so we cannot stop. This is our block. In the Heights, I built my little dream, my sueñito. Here. Washington Heights. We're taking the flight to a couple of days in the life for what it's like in Washington Heights. Guys, check it out. Let me know what you think. Um, leave a review at the bottom. Revisit this video once you've seen it. And let me know what you're watching at the moment, by the way. And if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe. Try to hit 40,000 subs at some point with your help. Um, there's loads of review videos up at the moment. You can connect with me on my social media, also my blog. All the details are below. Guys, have an incredible week. Take care. Bye. We had to assert our dignity in small ways. Little details that tell the world we are not invisible.